to have just installed Arch Linux. That's a big step and the first step into the Linux world. But now you look at your system and it's pretty empty. You can't listen to any of your Spotify playlists, you have no Discord to chat with your friends and no apps you'd expect on a daily driver. So how do you go about installing software on Arch? In this video, we're going to break down two of the most popular ways to install applications on Arch Linux. The official package manager Pacman and the AOR helper Yay. We'll explain what they do, how they are different and how you can use them to get your system up and running with the apps you love. If you're new to Arch or Linux in general, make sure to like, subscribe and drop a comment below if you have any questions. We're here to help and it really supports the channel. Let's start with the tool that every Arch install has, Pacman. According to the Arch wiki, which you'll become very familiar with, Pacman is a major distinguishing feature of Arch Linux, making it possible to easily manage packages from official repositories or the user's own builds. What that means is Pacman is your go-to tool to install, remove, update software from the official Arch repositories. These repos are maintained by trusted Arch Linux developers and contributors. Everything you install for Pacman has been reviewed, tested and digitally signed. That means security, consistency and stability. For example, to install something like Firefox, just open your terminal by the super key and p and run sudo pacman s firefox you just type in your password press y and you're good to go to update your entire system type in sudo pacman s syu and it's updating your system seeing this you probably think oh i only need pacman it seems fast, efficient, and it's highly scriptable. But like always, there's a catch. Pacman only works with official packages. That's great for stability, but it doesn't include everything. There are tons of popular applications, especially proprietary ones like Spotify, Discord, Chrome, or even Minecraft, that aren't in the official repositories. That's where the AOR, Arch User Repository, comes in. The AOR is a community-driven repository where users submit package builds, essentially scripts that tell Arch how to build a package from source or binaries. The great thing about the AOR is that it contains basically everything. If it runs on Linux, it's probably in the AOR. Themes, drivers, dev tools, beta apps, even custom kernels. But there's a trade-off. AOR packages are not officially vetted by Arch. They may be outdated, broken or insecure, so the community is usually pretty quick to fix things. You often need to compile software from source, which can take time. How to we access the AOR easily? This is where Yay comes in. Yay is a powerful AOR helper that simplifies working with the AOR, while still giving you full access to the official repositories. You can think of Yay as a wrapper around Pacman with some extra features. It lets you search and install official and AOR packages, automatically resolve dependencies, build AOR packages from the source, update everything with a single command, and optionally edit package builds before installing them. And doing all of this in a single command line interface. Hearing all of this, you are probably confused on what to choose. Therefore, we prepared a quick breakdown of how they compare. Both offer the possibility to install from official repositories, but only Yay offers installations from the AUR. Only being a slight difference is the execution speed. Yay can be a bit slower than Pacman. If security is your biggest concern, you might want to stick to the Pacman applications. But most of the time, Yay packages are very well community maintained and there's no reason to worry. You won't really see a difference in the scripting opportunities, but only Yay will also update the AOR packages when you use Yay-SYU. So when would you use Pacman? When you want the official, stable and signed version of a package, or when you're working in scripts or minimal setups, like containers or servers. And when would you use Yay 
when you want Spotify, Discord, Chrome, or any AOR package. When you want to install something quickly without messing with build scripts manually. To install Yay, you can clone it from the Git repository manually, like this. First, update your system with sudo pacman syu. I already did that, so I'm going to skip that step. Then, install the base package. Type in sudo pacman dash s dash dash needed git base dash devil. Type in your password. I already installed it. Then, install git. Type in sudo pacman dash s git. I probably also installed that one. Yes. Then, we will clone the repository sudo git clone and the link in the description. Yeah, I already have yay. So change in the directory and type make package dash si. After that, you have yay installed and you can install packages with yay. Now, let's go to the examples which you probably clicked this video for. Installing your favorite apps with yay. If you want to install Discord with yay, type in yay dash s and Discord. In your password, and you can install Discord. How about updating everything, including AOR packages? Type in yay dash syu. I already did that. You can also search for packages interactively. Type in yay and the name of the application you want. Now you can see the one is probably the Spotify you want. Press one, and it's installing. Spotify. When using the AOR, always keep some things in mind. Check the package build file before installing new things. Look at the number of votes and comments on an AOR page. Avoid obscure or suspicious packages with low trust. Yay will actually ask you if you want to edit the package build file before building. That's your chance to make sure it's not doing anything shady. So there you have it. Use package for official packages. Use yay when you want access to the full universe of Linux apps, including the AOR. Both tools are incredibly powerful, and together they will give you complete control over your Linux system. If you learned something new today, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and comment below if you're having any issues, or if there are any AOR helpers you'd like us to cover, like Peru or Trison. Thanks for watching.